So, good evening YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel, Beta73 I'm just doing another quick update of what's coming up on our next episode uh, Today is the 3rd of April 2022 it's, Here it's night time, it's around 8.30 uh, Night time in Victoria, Australia, where I am Nice beautiful country town called Heathcote uh, in our upcoming episode, we've got six rockets to launch. I've been going through some of my older, unrepairable, unrepairable rockets. So I thought maybe I can do something with them once again. And um, there are four that I've actually repaired. If you remember the Atlas rocket, the light, the light blue one, even though it's been painted, I've spray painted it uh, one more time, so it's uh, much, much better. Uh, much better joint as well. I've added some Aussie flags on there too. So we'll see how that goes. The fins have been strengthened a little bit using extra hot glue and just smooth everything out as usual weight 59 grams the next one up is a 63 it was a green 63 you've probably seen it it actually flew quite well i was just watching my a uh, couple of my episodes on my youtube channel I'm thinking, why did I throw these ones out? I threw them out because they weren't flying around the 15 second uh, mark. But I'll be putting all the 17, 18 seconds ahead. So this didn't quite qualify to make it to the top five. But these still actually flew quite well, the 14, 15 second ones. So with the 63 one... Can't remember what I did. I did manage to change one of these. Um, it's uh, hot glued. I'm not using uh, super glue. On the screen it looks like a blue tube, but it's not, it's actually green. A little bit strange. Uh, so I'm using hot glue again. Um, I made sure I melted the hot glue a little bit hotter, but not hot to the point where it'll actually melt the tube itself. And I've had this issue once before. Don't, don't, don't put hot the hot glue in the actual tube. Uh, put it on the hard tube first. And then once you slide this in, go as far as you can, can and just twist it. And this way it's not gonna, uh, melt the plastic on this this has no problem withstanding the heat from the hot glue but this has an issue but as I, like I said if you're going to pour hot glue pour it in here and then attach this onto that and give it a bit of a twist the other reason why I'm putting hot glue on the tube and not here is if you're going to put it inside this uh, and then you push the green one through here, all that glue is going to go through that side. And as you, if you saw my Icarus rocket, that hot glue, when I was standing the rocket upright, all that glue was actually going inside that tube, which caused a bit of an engine block. So it was blocking the, uh, the tube, the airway. So I couldn't really get the PVC pipe to go all the way in. So that's my advice for those who are planning to uh, join these two plastic parts together. So again, I'm using hot glue uh, just purely because of uh, its strength. And if you do it right, she'll um, handle quite a bit of pressure. So put that on the side. I'll see how that one goes. A 60, uh, the 63. 
got another black one believe it or not this is the yellow that I had I even put the uh, yellow dots there to tell me on the launch pad that this used to be the yellow uh, rocket it is now black so I took it off I took um, the plastic bit off uh, which, which came out very easily um, Good thing I actually Took it off because if I put on a launch pad next and launched it This would have just popped off straight away. So I'm glad that I actually found it on time so I hot glued it and uh, It's going it's not an inch now inside that tube This doesn't slide one inch inside the tube, but the whole two inch so it's going right through that that far in, which is good. And after that, I just gave it a good spray paint uh, so you can better see it up in the uh, much higher altitudes. And a couple of uh, two Australian flag stickers there to tell everyone that I'm an Australian and I'm launching it from Australia. Uh, weight. 72 grams I believe it was 71 last time so now it's 72 we'll see how that performs next in our next episode last but not least we have another green one this time I decided not to spray paint this one uh the other green one was um the 60 so it was a 63 put them side by side it's a uh, slightly shorter so 63 grams versus 75 and uh once again, I actually uh, had an extra spare tube, white tube, and uh, I thought I'll attach it. Once again, it's a full-on two-inch uh, slide straight in. Once again, I'm, I've used hot glue and not any of that Loctite or Araldite stuff. Um, so I let that hot glue melt like I said a um, little bit hotter a little bit li more liquefied so I applied it on the tube as I'm going like a S shape around it around the tube and then just quickly just slide this over it and just give it a bit of a twist there so the glue can actually stick in all directions all that excess glue that sits on the joints you just get some bit, bit, bit of a rag and just take all that excess hot glue out of there and give it a bit of a smooth so that should hold quite well especially at high pressure you know I like to normally leave it at 95 psi as I said I've made sure that all the fins are now straight so it can fly straight. I had only had two rockets that had two crooked fins. One of them did have an effect on the way up, as you saw on the, as you saw on the previous episode. Two or three. Uh, this was uh, this morning. And uh, so the second one actually flew quite well, even though there was one crooked fin. So pivot point is here. You can see there's the length, a pivot point just there, or your balancing point. And she weighs 75 grams. Now, what's interesting about what I'm about to say is quite interesting because um, if you remember me building the Challenger 1 and Challenger 2, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I thought I did, but then I found out that I didn't. So I was just going through my episodes to try and find out where is Challenger 1 up against Challenger 2. 
I didn't. I never actually did that. So next episode we'll be doing the Challenger One and Two side by side comparison, and see which one will actually fly best. Um, it will be a challenge, definitely, because they both are really good performers. They they roughly fly both of them at around the fifteen second mark, but that again depends on the temperature, humidity as well um we're gonna do those two last because uh with, as everyone knows with the when you're launching your first rocket on an air cannon uh the air cannon could be a little bit too cold from the start so once we get these four out of the way the two black ones and the two green ones then we can do the challenger one and two comparison uh, tests and we'll see which one actually is the best of uh, uh, one of those and um, if they turn out okay at 95 psi should I push it to 105 because I don't want to go 90 and I don't want to go 100 because for some reason as I said before um, I found out that at 90 it won't fly as good 95 so 85 95 psi will fly well uh, but at 85 psi i'm oh, sorry at 90 psi and 100 psi for some reason it just loses pressure you're so you're losing some of that flight duration so I'm wondering if I'm going to push it, maybe I'll go up to 105 PSI as the max. I might try that next time. Uh, but for now, just, just for now, just for the next episode that I'm going to do, I'll be flying all these, these four and the two challenges and 95 PSI and still how, see how they hold up during that flight. And, um, and then we can come back and talk about the 105 PSI flight challenge that we might actually do. So it's going to be an int another interesting episode coming ahead. So stay tuned and um, see you next time, I guess. Bye for now.